Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Waste back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial about JavaScript objects. In this video, I'm going to be creating this function, which is going to allow us to create a properties which are going to be immutable and immutable. I tried to research the solution, but couldn't really find a proper solution online. So I had to look through the JavaScript MDN documentation and I found something that I want to share with you guys. So if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's start by creating a function. This function is going to be named as add props. It's going to take three arguments. First one is an object that going to take the immutable and mutable properties. Here we got mutables and then immutables. Now, before we can start writing some logic to add mutables and immutables, I would like to check for these objects to be valid. I want to check if the object is undefined or not. If it's undefined, then we're going to go into else clock. But here we got this array type check for mutables and an array type check for immutables. We can add mutables to this object by looping through the properties of a mutable array. So here is we are first of all looping on mutable using for each loop and then putting the value in x. And then I've got this object dot defined property. So object is a global object within JavaScript. So you can use that. And there's a function defined property which defines a property of a given object. So this object is the one that we're going to modify. It needs a key and then the attributes will have a value, writable, configurable, and enumerable. So writable is the one that is going to allow this property be to reassigned or changed after it's been assigned to this object. You can read more about configurable and enumerable on the MDN docs. Next, we need to do the same thing for immutable. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And instead of looping on mutables, I'm going to loop on immutables. And this is going to be false. We'll make the configurable to false and false for enumerable as well. Next, we are going to return object from this function. And this is where we will put that. Now down, I'm going to create an object named person. Okay. And that's going to call this function add props. We want to pass in an empty object. We pass in mutables and immutables. So both of these objects, we need a key and a value. And I should have actually called this as mutable because name cannot be changed or age cannot be changed, but class and address can change. So let's modify this a little bit. So we're going to say, uh, immutable and I'm going to change this to mutable. Okay. So the first one is going to be the immutable and then the second one is going to be mutable now. So this has become immutable and then mutable. Now let's go and console log this first. I'll do console log person. I'm also going to use uh, web strong powers to debug this. I'm going to do a breakpoint here and I'm going to do a breakpoint here as well. Now I'll click on debug and now you can see the function is returning this object which has these four properties so class 10 all address john 20 okay so that's cool uh, but let's try changing a person uh, class after that so if i say person dot class equal to 11th class that's fine if i do person dot address equal to new address, right? That's fine as well. But guess what? If I go ahead and then do person dot name equal to, let's just say Mark, right? Now, when I go ahead and then do a debug, um, you will see the object is there. Now we will go ahead and then try to go to the next console log. And instead of console log, there is an error. Um, which says type error cannot assign to read only properties name of the object. And you can see that error is basically happening because right above on the top in the file, we have this use strict. So if you don't use this use strict, you won't get an error. So it will just be uh, silently thrown. The properties will not update. So as you can see, you cannot change name anymore because that has been created as immutable. 
I'm going to comment this line out and I'm going to run this again. And now you can see if I go ahead to the next line here, it's going to try assigning. That's good. It did assign that. Now the property has changed from 10 to uh, 11. Then address is changed as well. And then we just log that. But if I just uncomment this, let me create a space here a little bit. And I'm going to just run this again and you will see it is fine by um, it's it's fine when assigning a class address sign but right here i'm gonna try that and it breaks and we have a debugger console which says cannot read uh cannot assign to the read only property and same goes for age so i try to say age equal to let's say 30 right i'm going to debug this again and then we go to this line and there you go there is an error it says can sign to the name now if i go ahead and then move this up and then try again you will see that now it's going to throw an error for age because age is read only property so it's a very simple solution that you just got to use this object or different property and you got to pass in the attributes as writable false to create a immutable data and then for the mutable data you can pass in writable as true so have this video halt and yeah if you like the solution share your thoughts in the comments below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers